Oh, that'll do. It. Okay, we're here with we're here with Alan. He's going to tell us about this uh, new soil testing machine that he's developed on his farm. He's a farmer in North Carolina, and uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about how this thing is going to is going to work for us here? Well, it it it. You want to talk about how it works, or you want to talk about why it works? Well, let's do why first, and then how. <laughs> well, the, the the why is as we developed it because. That we we as producers saw a need for it. We expend lots of money. We we make tremendous investments based on the soil sample. And what we have found over the years is that the inconsistency of sampling, oftentimes, and we're guilty ourselves, is the lowest paid people on the staff are the ones who are taking samples not because they are qualified or capable or have been trained, but because they may be available. But we're making all these decisions, we're investing these monies, and based on the inconsistency of the sample. So our, our purpose in, in developing the Falcon was to try to put cake and get consistency and quality into the sampling process. As a sidebar was the automation and as a sidebar was the efficiency. But the, the, the first focus was on quality and consistency. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, what's, what's strange about soil sampling is it's one of the most important things, but it's also one of the most, I think, probably disliked things in terms of the, efficient, the lack of efficiency that there's been in the past and, and just the difficulty in doing it, but the need to do it right. So you have to figure out what that balance is. It's kind of like painting. You know, it's necessary, but no one likes it. Soil sampling right. is necessary. Everybody understands the necessity of, of sampling and doing it well, but no one likes to do it. Right. Everybody wants the perfect sample, wants the perfect results, and hopefully they, they hope they're getting it without knowing. So, we okay. developed the Falcon, okay. and there's two things that, that allow the Falcon to, to operate and be successful. One is the wheel. It's a five foot diameter wheel, and on this wheel is one probe. So, with a, and it's ground driven, so with this probe on the five foot diameter wheel, every 15 feet, when it's lowered, it's taking a core. So you right. drive as much as you want, as far as you want, take as many cores as you want, and, and it's, as you're taking them, it's continuously mixed. Let me show you. Let me, let me. Okay, yeah, yeah let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing in action then. If we can, we, now, yeah, let's yeah. go ahead and run that. Okay, thing. let's. And, and and I'm just I'm putting the soil into it. So it's the the wheel goes down and pretend now it's being ground driven as it's going across the field. And so you drive as far as you want, get as many cores as you want. Then you raise the drum. And as you're raising the drum, there's a 12 volt motor. That take an engage, and you continuously continue to mix these, this sample to get a homogeneous, well represented sample. Once it's mixed, bring a funnel in, and when you bring the funnel, it opens up the, the tray. Soil flows into a container. When it's empty, when the drum's empty, bring the funnel back out, closes the top, the tray rotates to the next position. Okay, can you open that tray so for that, us? That's how it, it operates. And, and there's 12, 12 containers, so 12 unique samples, individual. And all of this can be done without stopping. The only time you have to stop is when all 12 samples, all 12 containers are full, and then you stop and change containers. Okay, I'm gonna go around and show the container uh, sure. storage in the back. Have the storage on the rear. This, this box holds 12 containers. 144 samples, so with one in the carousel on the front, 
have 156 samples that you can take, all with the machine. Terrific. And the, at, the, at this point, the price point is? Price point is 49000 okay. Hopefully it's going to be a little less, but somewhere right in that range. Well, terrific. Well, thanks very much well, for the... Well, oh, we've got, we one, got one, one more thing. thing. Okay. Because you never see it. And, and what, the other thing that allows it to, to operate is the probe. And the probe is chamfered on the outside and chamfered on the inside, if you can see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the smallest point of the probe is the point of entry. As, as it goes around, the dirt and soil is continuously released, allowing it to fall. In addition, this probe is two-piece, has a replaceable tip. So as, as the tip wears, it can be replaced, minimizing the replacement cost. Probes, we can go from four inches in length up to 12 inches in length and with consistent depth of sample. It's very important. Entire, entire system is, is patented, have a utility patent from one end to the other. Terrific. That's a really interesting unit and I appreciate you sharing with us today, Alan. Thanks, Paul.